to the madness. All right, folks, how's it going? The name's Deffy, and welcome to another episode of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Right, okay, we are on the world map because we are heading to the old Sycamore to get some of those moon radishes for Bokum. That's what we're going to be doing today. So, um, off screen, I've set our party up. We are taking ourselves, obviously, we're taking Naz. Uh, Naz is set up with the Staglos helmet, the cloak of resistance, a ring protection. We have the explorer's belt for plus two enhancements to constitution and resistance, saving throws against disease, fatigue, and exhaustion. Three healing potions and the scroll of mage armor, if need be. We're also taking Ragongan out. So, Ragongan, we have the Nymph's gift, plus two dodge bonus to AC against ranged attacks. We have exchange shirt. We have the Cloak of Winter Veil, one resistance on all saving throws and cult resistance, uh, ring protection plus one. We also have the Braces of Armor bringing his AC to 17 near enough. That's pretty cool. Give them the Dwarven War Axe plus one, so it's two. It's a 1d10 slashing. We're a plus one, whatever the enhancement, it's pretty cool. We're also taking Octavia out. Um, I got her with a short spear plus one for melee if need be. The, the master what like crossbow because I want to keep her at range because she has a high dexterity of plus three or sixteen. Pretty nice. Uh, got her with the belt of mighty constitution to decrease her constitution a little bit, so that means her hit points go up a little bit. Uh, bless signet to cast bless, which is really really nice, and just an assumption of other things. Um, the idolon, <laughs> I've given them some potions and the bastard sword plus one. So it's a 1d10 plus 1 with the enhancement. It's just a sword. You can't wear any armor because it's got natural armor. But, you know, it's just a nice frontline attacker regardless. We have Jayful. Jayful set up the usual, I think, with the composite longbow and the master of scythe. Uh, still got the helm of his by wizard plus 2. We have the mesmerized necklace because she has color spray. Pretty nice. Breastplate and cold resistance. So, yeah, pretty, pretty nice. The... The the, the, the the course companion is still the same. We have medium armor and we have our sales, the great club plus two, which is pretty nice. And finally, we have Costa set up as usual. Uh, we have the savage bow, which allows him to cast, um, what's the, what's it called? Aspect of Falcon, that's right, increases dexterity in order to hit more often and to get chances some critical hits. Three ones just for healing and general support. A uh, couple of Alchemist Fire and a, oh, yep. And to do stuff, just to explore his hat. Cloak resistance, ring protection. We have the lesser braces of archery. Plus one on with bows, which is pretty nice. And just to uh, study level armor. Just the usual stuff. Just usual stuff. And we've got some basic supplies. So I thought I'd do that. So, um, just for a little bit of a format change from this point forward. What I'm going to do is, is this. If we're going to set up a new party, I'm going to do that in between episodes. So it just means we can just get straight there. We don't need to waste any time choosing... And I'm going to save all and every level up until the end of an episode. So if an episode is slightly longer than usual, there's your indicator that we're doing some leveling. <laughs> so it's at the end of the video. So if anyone wants to skip all that, then, you know, they can just finish up watching a bit earlier. So, yeah, so hope everyone is fine and dandy. In fact, what I needed to do was I needed to do a backup, actually, just in case. And we have now, just in case. Right, okay, so without further ado, we have all our edicts, all our orders in order. So let's head to the sick morning. So time's gonna pass. They're gonna do what they're doing. I've not taken it. I know, I know, I know. We're going to we're gonna rest up just quickly. Just quickly we're gonna rest up. So we do have 20 days until um let's have like yeah, plus four, plus one, plus zero, plus five. Alright, Jay fucking going hunting. Uh, you're just a minus two altogether. You're a plus three over there. You're a plus zero. Cost is a plus eleven, so you can cook. Um, so look, so we'll take you over here. Procure rations. These, uh, ooh, okay. It's a midday posture. Don't know what that does. I guess we'll find out in a second. What's that do? Rest in borders of your lands. And outside dungeons, you don't need to scavenge for provisions. Use this ability to have your loyal subjects supply your party with enough rations to keep going. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. And what does um, Octavia do? Set alarm. Octavia casts an alarm spell, which lasts for one guard shift and wards any enemy in the area. That's not too bad. Jayful. Two undead warriors come to protect Agothia's chosen their allies. 
They cannot be used as guards, but it will fight the party side in case an attack. That's useful. That's very useful. And Ragon Gun. Uh, most enemies who are weakened in Ragon Gun will avoid facing them and won't attack your camp. That's pretty useful if we're taking other people, but for now we have other things we think. Um, okay, Costa needs to cook. You need to hunt, because we're not using rations. Um, and I guess you can go into here. And that's can enable a plus two, and I guess you could do that as well then. Awesome. Seuss. Yep. Getting resting. Ragonga, why do you get so tense when I come close? Are you afraid I'll bite you? I'm afraid you'll stick your nose in my business and try to teach me how to live. I can't kill you yet. Even though sometimes I really, really want to. Huh. I like his voice. I mean... Really, Costa? Really? A plus 15? A plus 15 and you failed? <laughs> I really want to know what he rolled. I know it's a DC 20, but geez, I really thought that the plus 15 would have worked. But dude. Right, well anyway. But yeah, I wasn't expecting that kind of voice from him, actually. It's, uh, it's a lot more sophisticated than I was expecting. Like, I know he's a half- I think it's a half-orc? I think that's what his race says, so I was expecting like a But no, sounds a little bit more refined. I like it, especially for being the Magus. I will be honest with you, that's a very odd like class, I guess, race to class stereotype, I guess. Half-orc and a Magus. Like, I would have thought orcs and half-orcs would have been like martial classes, like, near enough like, you know, like warriors and barbarians and that kind of stuff. Fighters and barbarians, that's it, gotta get my terminology right for these kind of games. Yeah, I just, I just find it kind of, uh, I kind of, well, not weird, but I find it refreshing, actually. Because one of my DD characters that I created, like, in my, my own time, is, um, I'm using, well, um, I've got, like, a backup character sheet in case my main character in my D&D group I'm playing dies. And that's a orc, um, orc rogue, Ar arcane trickster? Arcane trickster rogue. Uh, arcane trickster is kind of like a halfway between a rogue and a wizard. Uses wizard spells. And the like, so, you know, I was going to have, like, this orc, like, dead, like, refined and intelligent and stuff, you know, something completely different from, you know, being, like, a, a brute, if you will. So, I've been told that this hill is in the middle here. I know exactly what it is because I came across this in one of my sci files. And, I don't know if you know this, but we do have a lot of people here, actually. We do. We got the Quartz Companion, and we have the Idolans. We have eight people. Yeah, don't like that. It's really laggy. Can I? Can I do something regarding the options? Let's have a look. I know there we go. That's quicker. That's quicker. I put the uh, the quality down to low. See what that does. So this is the hill, a DC twenty one. I am going to do a backup save because I do not want much damage with this. So let's have a look. It is combat is adjourned. Right, we've done it. Alright, so we've got combat. Let's put on the ATB. Alright, so we've got high Halysians, right? Mm hmm. Good night. <laughs> Good night, indeed. Let's check the thing, sorry. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, there should be a monster up here, methinks. Take that out, skin him. There should be a monster up here, I think. Like a big monster, if I remember correctly. I've spotted something. There it is. The Lonely Shambling Mound. Mound. Now, it is neutral, so I'm not going to attack it, but I'm going to give it a save just in case. Because I do want to attack him, actually. We'll see. It's about failed. Yeah. We got nuts, and I think it's the moon radishes. Nope. Talking to a dryad. Game. Thank you. Do you know what? Let's attack him. Let's try it. I'm not afraid. Okay, so we get hit once. Okay, let's have a look. See what we're dealing with. Not inspected. Okay. Shambling Mounds, also called Shamblers. I played. Oh, don't please, please do not remind me of the Shambler. 
Please don't remind me of the Shambler. The horror, the horror. It appears to be heaps of rotten vegetation. They're actually intelligent carnivorous plants with fondness for elf flesh in particular. Well, we've got two half elves with us, so yeah. What serves as a Shambler's brain and sensory organs are located in its upper body. Shambler mounds typically have an 8 foot girth and stand between 6 to 9 feet tall. They weigh about 3,800 pounds. Um, Shambler mounds are strange creatures, more akin to animate, an, animate tangles or creeping parasitic vines than single roots plants. They are omnivores, able to draw their substances, substance from nearly anything. Wrapping the creepers around living trees to draw off the sap, sending rootlets into the soil to absorb raw nutrients, or consuming flesh and bone from crushed plate. Right. Shamblers are frighteningly stealthy in their native environments, blending in with the surrounding terrain, and they can lie in wait for days on end without moving, or waiting patiently for a potential meal. A shambler can be any, almost anywhere at any time, attacking without warning and not caring whether it leaves any survivors, so long as it acquires its next meal. Shambler mounds normally leave solitary nomadic existences in deep forests and fennel swamps, although they can also be found underground living amongst damp fungal thickets. Disturbing rumours persist, however, of shamblers gathering in strange congregations around great, great urban moulds in the depths of marshes and jungles, often during the heights of violent electrical storms. The reasons for doing so are unknown, and many sages have wondered whether there's some obscure and alien purpose at work. Guess so, Jesus. Right, well, let's have a look. Alright, let's get attacking then. That's a mess. Okay, what are we looking at? AC 21, and that's flat footed. Oh, wow. Okay, natural armor plus 12. Interesting. Okay, Costa. Um, let's have a look. So, we do have Cat's Grace. Okay, yeah, up dexterity, possible. And then let's move slightly down. Okay, Otavio, let's see what you have. Okay, so obviously we got stuff on the left hand side as well, but I'm going to be ignoring them. Alright, so we've got Snowball, we've got Grease, we have Rejuvenite, Idolin, Mage Armor. That's level 2 stuff. We also have Bark Skin, we have Evolution Surge. Uh huh. I also have Great Pit. Could be pretty nice. We also have summonings as well, so we could get some summons down. Some monster two. Summon monster three. One D4 plus one dogs. Monster lizard and wolves. We have summon lizard. Uh, dogs. Okay. Sure. Let's get some wolves down. Nice. <laughs> the wolf pack, I love it. Too sweet. Too sweet. Too sweet. Okay, for Gong Gun. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see what you can do. Okay, so we got Blade Dash. We have Force Sword. Create a plus one long sword. Okay, that's not too bad. Mirror Image, Shocking Grasp, uh, Frostbite. What's the difference? Frostbite's weapon? Okay. Warning shield. Mystic forces. Swift action. You can spend a point. I'll just enter a state for Okay. Not too bad. There's a lot of stuff here, actually. Okay. Shock. I think it might be weak to fire. If it's. We could do some fire damage, maybe? Let's put Ember on. Uh, plus one has bonus for a minute. These bonuses can be added to the weapon stacking with existing weapon enhancement to a maximum of five. So because it's got a plus one, if we use this, that'll be a plus two. Um, consumes one point. Okay. Sure. Let's go fire. And then let's go for a bladed dash. Nice, so we did some damage. Roll to 23, perfect. And then let's go over this way. I'll try and hit from the back if we can. Right, Jayful. Um difficult colour spray. Can't really do much, so we're just gonna try and take a pot shot. That was a miss. Okay, course companion is going to charge in if possible. 
as a negative, so we're just going to move into melee if we can. Alright, definitely. Let's, uh... Unavailable. Oh, because we haven't got daggers equipped. Okay. Right, let's just move up this way then. Okay. Let's... Rage. Nice. And then we can attack. That's a miss. Oh, it's because we're using Trip CMD24. Yeah, well, that's a no-go. That is a big no-go, my friend. Okay, here we go. Let's try again. Right, first one hit. So the AC now is still 21 because it's not acted. We're actually pretty good in terms of uh, movement. Okay. I think we can move down here and take an attack. I think the line of sight's pretty good. Let's have a look. That's a great hit. What are we up to? Fearing minus two. Soft cover. Jesus, roll the 24 for that. Okay, so in terms of cantrips, that's a splash. Actually, yeah, that's a splash is the best thing. That's a great hit. Yeah, because it's using touch AC. Right, because the wolves then. Miss. Miss. That's a miss as well. Still flat footed because we got a surprise round. Okay, we're going on. Um, we could use flare actually. And it dazzled. Dazed maybe? Touch fatigue. It's not too bad. Right, so let's attack. That's a great hit. Holy shit. Oh, it's because we're flanking as well. We rolled a 26. Beautiful. And damage is 11. Yeah. 1d10 plus 7. Nice. Very nice. Okay, j Um, You've got cantrips, right? You do, but you don't have what I'm thinking of. Really. Okay, I don't want to waste any spells or anything, so let's just attack. That's a miss. Okay, of course, companion movement. That's a miss as well. Okay, we can attack three times, so I love it. First one miss. Oh, I guess we can't. <laughs> I thought we could. Oh, shit. Constricting vines. Okay, what's... Oh, shit. Sorry, sit mic then. Okay. Constricting vines. Um, a shambling mouth virus... Vines? Virus? A shambling mold... Mounds... Shambling Mound Vines coil around any creature it hits with a slam attack. The Shambling Mound attempts a grapple mover check against its target, and a successful check is Vines deal 2d6 plus 5 damage and those grappled. Grappled characters cannot move and take a minus 2 penalty on all attack rolls and a minus 4 on 2 dexterity. Grappled characters attempt to escape every round by making a successful combat maneuver, strength, athletics, or mobility check. The DC of this check is a Shambling Mound CMD, combat maneuver defense. Each round, creatures grappled by Shambles suffer 4d6 plus 10 damage. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. All right. That is, um, <laughs> that is, yeah, that is some shit, dude. That is some shit. Um, right. Well, fuck me. All right, let's get power attack on. I've uh, got aid. Got use his skill. Three deadly wounds. Uh, nope. Coup de Yeah, no, Coup de is so good, but I've just not been using it. There's multiple times when I could use Coup de Gras, you know, to trip him and stuff. I just keep forgetting about that move. You've made your choice. That's a mess. What's that? That's 14. That's 20. Six plus modifier. Nothing. All right, let's try attacking twice again. First one miss. Second one miss. All right, Costa, we need to get some bombs over here, pal. Let's go. Aspect of Falcon. Alchemist Bomb. Now we do have a precise bomb, so it's not going to hit. Reduced. Oh, same throw has damage, right? Because we did a 2 plus 3. Okay. That's crap. Right, well, let's keep on summon I don't want. Okay. Uh, blast. Actually, the Blast might be a bit better, actually. Lifelink. No. Tiger. Actually, do you know what? Let's move a bit closer. 
Well, let's use bless. Just to add plus one to the rolls. And then that'll do for you, and then we'll see what the wolves can do. A hit, nice. It's about half health so far. Nice hit. Alright, we're gone, guy. Uh, I'm not sure what we should do. I'm not sure what to do here. Cast shield to increase our AC. I guess it's just automatic. I don't see an ability that lets me uh, do what I need to do. Not really. Okay, arcane weapon enhancement. Bleed for me. Oh, right. So we need to use... Right. So we need to use the arcane enhancement in order to use the fire damage. Reduce the two. So he actually has... Oh. Shit. He... Right. Okay, so he has DR against fire attacks. Interesting. Uh, we can take a potion. That's what we're going to do. And then that's you. Alright, Jayfall. Um, we're going to have to use some proper attacks, you know. Let's use channel negative energy. Seven damage. It's got a little bit of damage left. Let's get the course companion in. Nice hit. Right. Now... We're going to pop out extra attacks so we get four attacks. First one missed. Why? Why are we missing? Oh, it's because the other one's not on as well, I bet. Right. I just wasted that for no fucking reason. The weak suffer. I endure. Yeah, do I do. Nice. 29, good night. Well, holy spit. So what do we get? A great silver pendant. Silver Pendant found tied to a branch on the Shamblin Mound. The name Bertha is engraved upon it. We get an emerald. Alright. I have a feeling we're supposed to come here for a quest, we think. Maybe. Let's have a look. The body of a woman fouled beyond recognition. Her fingers still clench a torn leather leash. Okay. Interesting. Lab journal. Okay. We got potion restoration. We got potion of light wounds. We got a chain shirt plus one. Okay, cool, cool. Now we still have to look for these moon radishes, which are not came across yet. <laughs> it's like the wolves still follow us. That's really cool. Okay, let's have a look over here. Cobalt Sentinel. Oh, these are the moon radishes, of course. A cobalt laying in the middle of the patch calls out to you. Judging by the sorry state for scales, he is the eldest of the group. His red eyes squint from the light, and his throat struggles to form words. Our patch, our celestial radish. Um, about that radish. The oldest cobalt lifts his head from the ground and tries to focus his eyes on you. Uh, I don't need it, and I'll leave half of what I dig out for you. There's enough radishes for everyone. You must forbid from the uh, free and forest. I think that's much I need. Uh, diplomacy. Diplomacy would be a plus 10 for the Gongan. Ugh. Yeah, let's just be lawful good about this. I'm kind of teetering... Here's the thing. The way I'm playing my character is um, I'm kind of teetering between lawful good... Well, kind of good and neutral to some degree, you know? If there's an option... I mean, obviously, we just got lawful, neutral, lawful, good, right? So, in terms of my alignment, I kind of lean between good and neutral. So, if we take a bit of lawful, a bit of chaotic, you know, just kind of that, kind of that realm, really. So, sure. Just because it doesn't need a check. I don't need all of it. I'll leave out half of what I dig for you. The shaman starts talking. Surprise, the leader's eyes light up curiosity. Good deal. Okay, what are you doing here? Chew the radish. Search for secret truth. Small and big. The cobalt who lay nearby answer with a devout murmur. At least, but I was sleeping. Okay, sure, I must go. Yeah, I think with that, we got it, right? New rashes for parking. Oh, we can just pick it up. Can we? Do we have it? Do we have it in inventory? 
Green Rash. Okay, yeah, I guess so. I think that should be it then, right? I know the way. Yep, okay. Let's head back to Tustdale then. Yeah, let's mention every gong is just fucking like. But I'm gonna do another save because obviously it's the only way down. Yeah, that mold. Hmm. That mold was hard hitting. That mold was very hard hitting. I'm not gonna lie. A trivial matter. Nice. Okay, so anywhere else we want to explore? Not really. Follow Actually, I just realised. I think. Oh, we could have went round and up that way, couldn't we? Yeah, we could have done. Son of a bitch. No. Hmm. Because we got eight people. Should we attempt... Should we attempt that manticore? While we're in the area. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we're not taking all that. We're not taking all that. Actually, maybe I could do. We can sell it at the merchants, maybe. Okay, Tristan. Ever Renray's loyal servant, Tristan arrives in the stolen lands with a difficult task. To learn why all manner curses seems to flourish in here. While the answer remains uncertain, this merciful, sympathetic cleric helps his companions with his prayers, spells, and guidance. Tristan's a pretty cool character. I'm more interested in Hyod, though. For some reason. But yeah, we're gonna I think we'll attend that uh I think we'll attend that. Manticore again, I think. The Manticore's um up here in the Animal's Plains. So just in case, just in case. Let's drop a save. And if we do get our ass kicked, it's fine. Right, here we go then. Twelve hours. What's a log lowland? Seems we came across that. All like train pulls. Why is that right? Do you want to say this location? Nope, because we're gonna do another rest if we can. It's so amusing how you try to seem beautiful. Who's going to set their eyes on your little painted face? Maybe some half orc or a half troll. You know, whoever killed you, I'd like to find him and shake his hand. Ooh. All right, so we got hunting, camouflage successful, cooking successful. Nice. That's not too bad. Not too bad whatsoever. All right, here we go then. Endless planes. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah, let's try this mad core out again. That should be fun. To be honest, though, we do have the tools. We got the levels, and we definitely got the people. I'll tell you that much. No, we definitely have the people. So this should be. This should be fun, thanks. We'll pick up all the items again later. Let's just go straight for him. There he is. Do you remember me, you son of a bitch? Yeah, I should fucking think so. Alright, here we go then. Okay, let's have a look. Level 6, Lawful Evil, Sarge Lies, 20, 63 HP. Okay. Combat and Maneuver Trip. Okay, first of all, let's set up a defensive, um, defensive line near enough. Just in case he comes rushing in. Okay, Octavia. Uh, we do have... I want to summon the Wolf Pack again, actually. Yeah, I'll summon the Wolf Pack. I am not, honestly, I am not going to, um, I'm not going to stop myself from using summons. Hell no. I think that was our move, right? That was our move. Okay. And then we can just move a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Um, some of the dogs are going to move, I think. Yep. They're going to go in. Oh, nice hit. Nice hit. Dude, they might actually kill the Manticore before we even get a chance. Yeah, they could be our little, um... Move here. Yeah, they can be our little, um... Attack force or... Auxiliary force while we get into position. Alright, G4. Uh, take a shot. That's a miss. Shooting into combat, I need to get rid of that feat. 
if that's the case. Okay, um, let's move here. Do I have a cantrip? Do I have a ranged cantrip? I do. Good hit. Okay, I don't. Let's, uh, let's move to here. Let's not go into range just yet because I have no idea what this uh, manticore is going to do to our wolves. Okay, let's go aspect of Falcon to increase dexterity. Let's move forward. And Defna, you can just move the attack and just get a little bit of damage if possible. Nice! Very, very, very nice. Okay, here we go. Yep, first hit. Trip. Second hit. Uh huh. And the third hit. Yep. Right, okay. Of course, companion, we can't move in just yet. Um. You're dashing, maybe. No, we can't. Alright, let's just move here. Like, again, I just don't want to rush in just yet. Um, I could cast some more. Okay, I can only... Oh, that's interesting. I can only do it one a battle? Okay. Right, that's for sure. Oh, hey, oh. Um, staggered. For one round, that wouldn't be nice. Grease. Bark skin. Evolution surge. Creep pit. This is a bit extensive and dimension is not worth Okay. Um, let's try snowball. See if we can get staggered for a round. Let's have a look. It's a hit, but it's a fortune saving. Holy shit balls! What? Why? Why? Why is it five d eight? Why is it five d eight? Holy shit! Right, yeah, I read this up. I read this up. So cast the level, the level of the class because we're level five. We're doing 5d8. So if we were to use Snowball... <laughs> yeah. So if we were to use Snowball at level 20, we would be doing 20d8 for a level 1 spell slot. That's huge. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to understand the power now. Okay, we might be able to attack like normal, I think. What's the AC? The AC is 21. Okay. That makes a hell of a lot of sense, actually. Doom. All person, but needs to be a humanoid. Can we? Nope. Um. Got our law. Okay, hold on. Let me have a look at this. Um. I need to check spells for this, actually. Spellbook. Um, two arrow law info. Okay, uh, creature struck by an arrow takes 1d points, so it's two cast levels. A chaotic outsider takes 1d8. Uh, okay, it's need for chaotic or lawful. Cast it outside. Chaotic outsider takes 1d per cast level, so 1d12. So, because it's lawful evil, is that the alignment? That means that it should be taking at least. It should be taking at least. Um, a good lot of damage. Let's have a look. Miss. Fuck. Ah, touch. Right. Understandable. Okay, let's. Um, Shocking grasp. No, but image could work. Shield. Wall ward of weapon. Uh so it's a defense potential for castle spells. Trinity Plague Lash. Can't do it. Nope, that was a misclick. Mmm. That was a big misclick. Holy shit, I got lucky with that. I actually did. Good hit. Should be able to tally normal now, actually. Should be able to. Let's try this way. Miss, miss, and one hit. Very nice. Ow. 
Okay, quartz coming. I just need a couple more hits done, and that's it. Nice. Octavia. Let's try snowball again. That's a miss. Wolf. There we go, Manticore down. Holy spit. Let me get this Manticore pelt. Very nice. Right, hey, we killed the Manticore. Nice, what do we got? Belt of incredible dexterity plus two. Beautiful. Dual and sword. Nice. Increased dexterity plus two. Not bad. Right, let's have a look over. Let's have a little look around then. Right, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty nice. That was very, very nice. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, so we got a scimitar, which is a scimitar plus one. We have a wand of grease. Rare roots, two coal, twelve coins. Uh-huh. There's some other stuff around here as well that we can get, but I did forget. I did forget what it was supposed to pick up, or what we picked up at the beginning of all this. Musical berry, uh, two coal, 24 coins, okay. Uh, we got petrified egg, <laughs> okay. Touch of gracelessness, and two more coins, okay, let's have a look up here, see if there's anything up here. I know the way. That seems to be it. Yep, that seems to be it, that's everything I think. I think we checked everywhere. Cool. Well, it wasn't particularly hard. Well, it was a lot easier this time around. It was. See? Big difference. Big difference in terms of levels and abilities you can get. I do like that. I do like that a lot, actually. Nice. So, um, I think we'll head back to the kingdom then. Yeah, we'll head back to... Uh, actually, do you want to do anything else while I'm here? Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll head to Oleg, because I think Balkan is still here, I think. Possibly. Yep, enter. So I think Balkan is still here. So we could give him the Moon Rash's complete quest. Because I think, as long as the workshop's not built, I don't think he'll teleport or transport himself to the capital, I don't think. And then, in terms of what we'll do next is... We will... I think once we get back to the Kingdom, I think we'll do that 14 week thing to increase our community level from 1 to 2. That's what I'm thinking. Is Barkin still here? He is still here. Cool. Right, let's finally hand this quest in. Look out. Okay, battle task of yours, get moon rashes. Barkin's face brightens and he rubs his eyes to his fashion. Yes, that's it. Hey, these are even more than I expected here. Thank you so much. Take this. You deserve it. Nice. So 200 gold, 150 experience. Uh, would you buy... Hmm, would you buy more fine berries and mirages abroad? A slight smile spreads over Boker's face and glint in his eye. Sorry, my friend, but after you took a walk through that cave, there's an area spider left, so now it's safe enough for me to carry the berries myself. Rather than pay someone else any time I need to cook dinner or make a potion, and that bucket of moonrashes will be plenty for me. And for me to help like for a long time to come. Sure. Why do you need moonrashes? Balkan blushes heavily and coughs into his fist. That's for Oleg. He sprained his back last summer, you see. He tried to move a heavy chest all by himself. You can't even imagine the healing powers of these radishes. They make a great pain-killing ointment. Potent? It's critic? I just... <clears throat> Oleg would never confess his weakness to anybody, but I see him wince every time he bends over to pick something up. The old man sighs. A bit too loudly. Oh, when the poor man realizes he's not 15 anymore. True. All right, then. Awesome. Right, well, um, we could... We could sell some things to Olak, maybe? Let's have a look, see what he's got. Um, anything I could buy from here? Actually, offer. 500 for that. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep them, because I think maybe different merchants might have different offers, maybe? So, we'll keep that. But anyway, we're gonna head back to the, uh, the kingdom now, anyway, because I think we've only got, like... 19 days left, and I want those five days left just in case we need to do anything important. No, that's from the storage. Okay. That's the thing for a second. I was like, I left a lot of stuff here? <laughs> no, it's the, uh, the storage that's linked in between different worlds. Seems to be a chest of holding. Mm -hmm. Touch and range can be used to sneak attack if a target's flanked or flat-footed. 
Yes, so I understand the flat-footed um, AC mechanic. You only use the AC if... You only use flat-footed if you're surprised. But is there any other way to give him flat-footed? Like through trips, maybe? Possibly? And also, because what I was thinking was, I was thinking maybe for our cantrip users, like for example, Aris. I was kind of thinking of going into Rogue and getting a few points into Sneak. Uh, few, sorry, get a few points into Sneak Attack. So that increases the damage of our cantrips, you know? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, we got all this to explore. The Waterlogged Lowland. The <laughs> Riverine uh, River Rise, yeah. Pine patch, it's a lot. There's a lot to explore, but for now, we're just going to stick to certain areas. Okay, let's, uh, let's head back to Tustdale then. And I'm just thinking, should we push through the fatigue? Sure, find an encounter. Not sure how long we've been going for. Probably, what, 45 minutes, something like that? Maybe. But yeah, I just want to get back and then we'll end the episode there, I think. But yeah, I gotta say though, Octavia and uh, Ragongan have some very, very interesting stuff. Right, you know what? Let's just take off um, that. Attack. Aim carefully. Yeah, let's do none on a battle for this. It's just two people. I'm personally not fast. <laughs> not really. Especially when we're done like that. Uh, sure, I'll scrap them all. I'm not bothered. Hey, easy XP, right? Easy XP. So, yeah. So, yeah, so as I mentioned, we'll do the 14 day thing to. Um, to. To get our community rank up to level 2. And we should be good from memory things. That's interesting. That should have fatigued to start. I feel tired. I was gonna say that should fatigue us, and we just got home. Sure, that's the location. Uh, the main square. Yeah, let's go to the main square. Maybe we could do a little bit of um, merchanting. I do kind of want use control to unsnap your area effect spell from a target. Wait, what? Use control to unsnap your area of effect spell from the target. So, you're telling me, with that option right there, we can target an area of effect instead of a target? Oh, you're fucking right. Because there's been multiple times with our AoE spells where I just want to hit a certain area not targeting an opponent but it seems to be that some spells need to target a target and then they'll do their af re effect secondary where i want it the other way around so in cases like for example if we have like a big like aoe spell that deals like 10 d 10 damage or whatever you don't exactly want to be hitting your teammates do you but no some spells just require you to target the target if that makes sense but yeah as i was saying we'll see if um See if there's any people here that can uh, maybe. Okay, who is it? I think it's you. Do you have the stuff that was. I saw? You're just rods. Yep, just rods and scrolls. That's all it is. Who was it that had the elf equipment? Corrosive, um, stratagem. Quest that frost you and sword flame and bass sword flare plus two. Uh, let's see, gods. I think this is it. Is it you? No, not you. Ah, I think it's you. Yeah, it's you. No, that's what it is. Um, I like to. Yeah, shark longbow. I wouldn't mind. Getting that. Oh, oh, it actually has gone down a little bit. Nice. Okay, so we have the scimitar plus one. We're not use. Eh. I don't know. We do have the one of Greece, which is going for 37. 
That's a thousand, but we're going to be using that. Yeah, I just want to get the shock longbow because it's free. It's a 1d8, but also a 1d6 electricity as well. That could be pretty good for somebody else. And it's a plus one as well. That's like really, really good. Boots of other kind. Mobility would be pretty nice with the mobility checks. That would be really nice, I'm not going to lie. But I kind of want this. This is like the big thing to keep my eye on. The longsword plus two would be pretty good as well. But, but now, hey ho, right? We might be able to sell some stuff. We'll see. We'll see. Also, I do actually have a reading episode planned as well for the books because we've been getting a lot of books recently. So, I'm going to be doing a reading episode soon. I've been given some blessings for some people that they would love to see it. They would actually love to see it. I know somebody is looking forward to it if they get around to doing it. So, I think. I think before the events, before the next major events, I think I will do a reading episode. Because I'm interested in the law myself, I really am. So yeah, so I'm kind of balancing things between reading the backstory of... Also, I mean, at the same time, that could be good for us because we can actually talk to our party members for once. Because we haven't yet. So yeah. Alright, so let me just do a double check of the affairs because I record this every two days. Yeah, I record this every two days, so my memory is like a half a goldfish, so I don't even know what we're doing. I do know some people are busy with trade. Somebody's looking into things. Okay, let's have a look. So we got Troubled Lands. We have two days on the proposal for cooperation. Free merchants from Absalom Rive and Reader in business. Ends in two days. is a DC 15 with D20 plus 5. Success chance 55%. Hmm. Okay, we'll see what happens there. DC 14, 70% chance. Okay. Hands of gold. Master. Okay. Triple of lands. Uh huh. Speaking of which, as we. Buildings. Have we built anything yet? That's a good question. Have we built, actually? Yep, yeah, we got some places that's been built. And we can upgrade them as well. Okay, so loyalty plus one. Plus one to Arcane when Jesus to a shrine can be upgraded to Alchemist Laboratory. Sure. Now why can we not? We need Why can we not upgrade? That's interesting. Because it needs to upgrade to the Alchemist Laboratory for a Balkan. I guess we can't upgrade yet? Possibly. Are we building the wooden wall? I think we are. Or we should be. Yeah, I think we are building the wooden wall. Okay, I have no idea. I'll have a look through all that later in my off time. I think I've been recording long enough, so I think I'll... I suppose to have a quick look at stuff, you know, stuff what we need to do and stuff, but yeah, we should be good. Alright, so I think I should be able to... Ooh, that's right. Hands of gold. We'll also some other things as well. We've got support the council's endeavours. Yeah, you're busy with that. Trade agreement with Satova. Hell no. You're busy with both of those. You're busy with those as well. You're busy with that. Okay, well, we'll look into these eventually. You're busy with that, so I don't think we can do that just yet. Well, we'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see in the next episode. Because what I'm thinking is, I think I might do the... I might do the two-week thing. But I think I need to wait until uh, Tristan's done with what he's doing. Um, that's going to be 14 days, which with the nine days he has left, is cutting it close, me thinks. Let's have a look. Agent Curse, 16 days. Yeah, no way. So, ugh, we'll have to see. Next development, 16 days. Yeah, get ready for anything. Then we have about a month for the game Curse's full power. 
soon bring down the last opponents. There's nothing we can do right now, but to prepare ourselves in barony. The curse will strike around the time we reach the power limit. We need to get ready to repel any sort of attack. Yeah, so hopefully the... <laughs> it's face cam for a second then. Yeah, so hopefully that wooden wall will be up before the attack because we might have to do a defense, I think. That's the only thing that's come to mind. And I think with this curse, I'm kind of thinking might be um, Evil Dead 3, you know, with the army of the undead. Some like that. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll just have to wade through the shit and see what gold's on the other side of it. Right, so anyway, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like on today's episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Links down below. Check them out if you wish. Apart from that, enjoy the rest of your awesome day. Hope to see you next time. Take care.